The sport of cycling is certainly grabbing the headlines these days and the Senior National Road Racing Championships is cashing in this weekend with the action set to start at the Brian Lara Academy on Saturday and Sunday from 7 a.m. each day. But all the buzz is about the enormous success the National Sprint Program has achieved in the last two years since Aaron Hartswell took over as technical director. The double gold medal success at the recent Pan Am Games may just be the tip of the iceberg as the general plots even greater success in the future. A lot of hard work. The old blood's out in tears. Um, you know, I really commend the effort these guys make day in and day out to show up to training on time, get the work done, commit to the program, buy into what we're selling you know, as a national team and to really go and produce on race day. You know, it's incredibly important to recognize that we're a government funded program doing all of this in-house in Trinidad and Tobago. And so we take our responsibility to perform very seriously. And I'm so proud of the guys that when called upon, they really do step up on race day. Not satisfied, he is plotting similar success for Tenille Campbell, as well as the endurance riders who are building two big things as well. But for now, the sprint unit is the envy of many around the world as the red, white and black unit continues to establish itself among the sports elite. To some extent, a lot of athletes and programs do it in spite of their systems, you know, because those systems aren't benefiting them. You know, we've now created a system that's in-house in TNT, working at the National Cycling Center again with government support, uh, and we're able to produce, you know, athletes, you know, uh, you know, uh, in, in our own farm system. You know, you're right. We have five, six, you know, world-class riders at this time in the sprint program. We have some enduros coming out of the woodwork. You know, we have Tennille Campbell over the, over the UCI World Cycling Center, you know, doing her part on the road. You know, unprecedented performances from her, and so cycling is really on the upswing. You know, here in Trinidad and I really have to thank the sport company, the Ministry of Sport, the Trinidad and Mexico Cycling Federation and the athletes and supporters and clubs themselves for really being behind this initiative.